Hello everybody and welcome back to the PRS Library. My name is Jake, I am your ARP Neuro Trainer and in this video we're going to be going over core weakness and I'm going to be talking about pad placements and movements that you can do to help improve that using the PRS device. First of all, let me explain to you the importance of having a strong core and the setbacks of having a weak core. I consider the core the pivotal part of the strength in your body chain. So if the core is breaking down, the rest of your upper and lower body is going to experience some sort of breakdown. If you have low back pain, there's a good chance you have a weak core. The same is true with bad balance, poor posture, if it's hard for you to sit or stand, or even difficulties for standing on for long periods of time, this is going to be an indication that your core is weak. So I'm gonna show you settings that you can do as you build up in strengthening your core. I'm gonna show you pad placements, and we're gonna go over movements. And if you stay consistent with that, it will help you strengthen your core, and it will help you improve your overall life. So in this first setup, you need the four pin lead system. First, you wanna take the black lead, and you wanna place the black lead on the upper part of your abs, going horizontally, just like this. And then mirror the other black lead on the other side. Next, you wanna take the red lead, and you wanna place the red lead just below the black one, horizontally, just like that. So black above, red below. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to mirror the other one on the other side. So both reds are on the bottom and the black is on the top. Now that we have all four pad placements on the core, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this up. Now that you have all four pads secure on your core, you're ready to go through a movement. So now proceed to power up the PRS device. Push that purple power button. Wait for the beep. All right, and then go ahead and start firing this up. Push it individually or hold it and get to your maximum intensity. Now, as you go through movements, that intensity is going to change, and I encourage you to continue to push this output power as you can tolerate it and have good form. So one of the movements I'm gonna encourage you to try to do is a basic heel tap. So I'm gonna balance on my left, and I'm gonna to touch my heel, my right heel, and I'm just gonna lift my knee. Touch down and then lift up. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on that heel. I'm just gonna tap and then bring it back up. You really wanna try to engage this. If I feel wobbly or I'm about to fall, I wanna grab onto something solid, whether it's a chair, whether it's you know, the side of a wall, whatever helps you keep your balance so you're keeping that standing leg engaged. And in my case, it happens to be my left. And I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna do 10 reps. I'm gonna switch sides and then heel tap raise it up and do 10 reps on the left, just like this. Again, making sure that right is engaged. And as I'm going through this, if I feel wobbly, instead of dropping down like this, I wanna to try to hold on to something so I'm keeping that right leg engaged and also focusing on the core. Once you've finished 10 reps on each side, you wanna go ahead and you wanna turn that output power up again. Once again, you wanna hit your maximum tolerance and then go through a second set. So with this protocol, you wanna do four sets with 10 reps on each side. In between each set, you wanna to try to increase that output power as much as you can tolerate. Once you finish with those four sets, you wanna go ahead and then put it on main pulse suspend. Once you have it on main pulse suspend, you can turn that output power all the way to the top, and now you can stay here for the next 30 minutes. This is great for blood flow, so now I no longer have contractions, but now I'm still generating blood flow into that general area, and it's gonna help speed up my recovery time. In this next setting, we're gonna be using the two lead system. First, you wanna take the black lead, and you're gonna place the black lead right in the center of the core, just like this. Next, you wanna take the red lead, and we're gonna place the red lead on the low back area in the center point, just like that. Once again, you wanna take your wrap and you wanna secure both of these pads. And finally, proceed to push that purple power button, hold it and wait for the beep. And then push that plus button and turn that power up 
until you reach, you reach your maximum tolerance. Essentially, you can go through the same exact movements that I showed you when it comes to balance and work that while turning the output power up and go through those four sets of 10 reps trying to work on that heel tap, raising the knee, and essentially gradually trying to improve that balance while you increase that force load using the output power and increasing that. However, there is also another option you can do if you wanna take this to another level. I have a specific workout using this very pad placement where it's going to last for about 20 minutes. Now it's a little bit more advanced, but it's this workout right here. And if you go to our PRS workout channel, it's core and balance and it's a 20 minute workout. So go ahead and check that out. That could be something else you could do in addition to the balance things that I gave you in the beginning. The first one's a little bit more intermediate to beginner. This next one right here and this particular workout is going to be advanced. So you may wanna start off with the first one and then gradually build yourself up to this. But as you continue with this, and if you are consistent, you are going to build core. And as your core gets stronger, it's going to help with balance. It's going to help improve your back issues or give you a healthier back if you already have a healthy back. And it's going to keep you from getting muscle fatigue on sitting and standing and working. And you're gonna be able to have a healthier and happier life as a result of that. And this is your core weakness protocol. <laughs>